news, Canadians are quickly losing their religion, census data shows. According to the 2021 Census of Population released by Statistics Canada, roughly 35% of the total sample chose no religion and secular when asked about religious perspective. The decent, the, what's the, the decennial, yeah, decennial census creates a telling perspective on the religious landscape in Canada. In the last census taken in 2011, 23 0.9% selected no religion and the 2021 census increased, excuse me, the 2021 census showed an increase of more than 50% from 2001's 16.5%. More than 50% of the British Columbian population declared that they hold no religious affiliation, making BC the most non-religious province in Canada. Woo. Ian Bushfield, the executive director of British Columbia Humanist Association, called the result monumental. Wow. So, Armin, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see a graph of this. Look at this graph. We're replacing you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I hate your I hate your rhetoric sometimes. I can't stand it. This is the true replacement conspiracy. <laughs> there we go. We're coming for your children. I say this as a Canadian. Yes, exactly. Proud. And you're like, I've never been more proud to be Canadian. Yeah. I think that's so wild that there's been since in the past 20 years, the non-religious segment of the population has doubled in 20 years. Double. Double in 20 years. Do you know what this means, Susie? What? That means that the two countries that I am a citizen of are the have the fastest growing non-religion where I'm leading the way in two countries, both Iranian. I'm a, I'm a citizen of Iran and a citizen of Canada. And both of these countries are leading the way in the world when it comes to the growth of the non-religious community. <laughs> so funny. All I do is win. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was really cool, yeah. especially, I mean, it's so obvious when you see the proportions, I mean, in, in the graph, like the proportions of Christians versus the proportions of non-religious, like it's very clear that people are just leaving Christianity and they're not migrating to another religion because for the other main religious groups, which are Muslims and Hindus in Canada, their population has increased, but it's almost all due to immigration. And their increase is like from, for Hindus, it's like from 1% to 2%. And for Muslims, it's like 2.5% to 5% or something. So their increase isn't that much either. But this is insane. Like people are just leaving religion like on a crazy scale. Um, it's really interesting to think about how this is going to be reflected across the next generation because there's sociologists were saying that the changes that we've seen from the past 20 years re reflect a generational shift of like people who grew up in households where there was religion, but there wasn't as much practice, like maybe a, a less importance than actually going into church, going into sermons and stuff. So then the following generation was like basically gave up any label whatsoever. Cause it's not actually something that's practiced in their life. And then, so the sociologists are saying in the next 20 years, we're going to see like second and third generation, like third generation, like non-religious families. Move to Canada, Susie. Your country is going in the wrong direction. Seriously, come up here. I'll let Honestly? you in. Oh, thank I'll you. Speak. I'll speak to my people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's <laughs> what I need. <laughs> Actually, though. <laughs> come before we build the wall, though. <laughs> You guys do need the immigration too. You will take me. Um, <laughs> um, that's pretty much all I had for this story. I mean, how do you think this will be reflected in Canadian politics? Hmm. 
very good question. There's less of an emphasis of religion in Canadian politics anyways. Like you guys, you guys actually get to focus on like policy and economy because you guys aren't fighting over cultural bullshit as much. That's what I find interesting about like Canadian conservatives is like, they're not really fighting against gay marriage or they're not fighting against abortion. Like they're like, oh no, we've accepted that. That's off the table. Like now let's talk about what kind of like public health policies we want and like taxes and stuff. Yeah. No, like we, we might have a Gilead situation where we have to accept refugees from the United States or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so. No. Actually, that's actually what happened in the in Gilead. Like Canada was like a safe haven for people who were refugees out of the United States. Oh, really? I've never watched or read The Hidden Man's Tale. Yeah, yeah. Canada was will like you, the, yeah. Will you take me in as a refugee? Yes, of course. Thank you, Arnold. <laughs> but it's amazing how it was recognized, like in the movie that, in the TV series that, like obviously, if United States goes like this way, Canada would be. I mean, it was always the same. Like even when you guys had slavery, uh, we accepted your slaves. Yeah, we like that was where they ran away to. Yeah, enslaved yeah. African Americans, Black Americans. I'm actually being very Canada. Canadian right now because the most the mo the the <clears throat> what defines Canadian culture the most uh, is their superiority to Americans. Like they constantly <laughs> mention it. The, like this, this is the, you can't, there's nothing more Canadian than this, right? So, Except you guys. So, okay, so, never mind. I won't, no, so I'm okay. actually, I feel very Canadian right now that I'm telling you uh, all of this because this is uh -huh. like a Canadian hobby to tell Americans how much thing, how things are better at the other side of the border, right? So yeah. this, mm -hmm. yeah, so <laughs> this is me exercising my canadian heritage right now um <laughs> like culture <laughs> something i don't remember is saying don't go with him susie <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh see god. like these saying in the latest episodes they want to kick americans out yes see this is what happened oh my god too many in, in in future canada you guys are going to kick out the american refugees that's not very nice. No, you just there's. Well, I mean, you if you overstay, you're welcome, and if you don't. Oh snap! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't accept our ways, then we might have to. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, how, okay. To have a little bit of Canadian national pride, Armin, because usually you have. I'm kidding. Like I'm kidding. By the way, this is a joke. All of this, I'm, I'm not national. How? But how does it feel though? You know, do you Funny. have pride in being Canadian? This country that took you in? No, no, no. I'm joking. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I have. I am. I have no. I. I don't have a single nationalist bone in my body. So this is all a joke. So it's just. I think that's so thing. funny because this is the country that did like provide you with the availability to do the activism that you do, to speak the way that you do, to have the life that yeah. you want and stuff. Yeah, 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 it's because of liberal values, not because mm. of. So, uh, what I what I admire is liberal values wherever I could find them, right? Mm -hmm. So it's independent from geography and country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's um, no part that goes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it is thank you, but not to to people who are responsible for making these rights. Mm -hmm. um you know prevail you mm -hmm. know i mean not to not to a flag not to mm -hmm. a land but to individuals who made this happen at a huge cost i like to i like to be thankful to people rather than countries you know what i mean mm -hmm. i know countries are made out of people but i like i like the the per i like i don't understand a country is a concept i can't feel I don't feel like it can be thankful to a concept to a, a country is a social um agreement like how could i be thankful to an agreement the people who are responsible for making that agreement into a thing i'm, I'm thankful to them right i think like it's important for us to have grad like you don't you know it's kind of like god that you are you are turning something that is not an individual and all of a sudden you're grateful to it or you're thanking mm. it or you're not like i read I, I rather 
keep these feelings or these kind of sentiments towards other human beings and individuals, right? Rather than a concept like a country. Yeah. Um, no, I understand that. I just get kind of amused thinking about someone that's super proud of being Canadian and you being an immigrant that like gets to enjoy all these liberties because of coming there, like being like, no, nah, I don't give a crap. <laughs> And like pissing yeah. off that person. It's just kind of funny to me. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I don't care. It's kind of like, hey, do you like your car a lot? You're like, yeah, I like your car. Are, what, are you thankful to your car? Like, what the hell? You mean the people who built the car? Like, no, no, to the car itself. Like, mm -hmm. no, I'm not thankful to my car. But like, hey, don't you like the car? Like, yes, I do like the car. You know what I mean? Like, I, I cannot feel thankful. To, like, I don't think those sentiments are supposed to be towards like, it's supposed mm -hmm. to be to our other human beings. That's what I mean. Okay. That's just what I mean. Okay. Cool. Uh, if you ask me, do you like Canada? Then it's easier to get. Yes, I very much like Canada. Is that good? Mm -hmm. I like Canada. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite countries. Um, your all hair right. Looks nice right now, by the way. Really, what? I like your hair right oh. now. I was just thinking that, so I thought I would tell you. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Oh wow! Thank you. I never, I never get compliments like this live on air. Thank you, guys. That's not true. <laughs> no, I get, okay. Well, I like your hair as well. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese god, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.